So what about these guys? What are we going to do with this? Let's start with this example here. We've got parentheses, these in parentheses and then plus 3.4, right? So if we remember PEMDAS, uh, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract, it's saying we want to do parentheses first, right? So we're going to start with this. Um, I guess I'll just do it to one side. 8.3 minus 1.2. So we'll just calculate that. 3 minus 2 is 1. 8 minus 1 is 7. Isn't it? So this just becomes 7.1 plus 3.4. So now I just not got to calculate this, right? Add 3.4. 1 and 4 is 5. And that's 10. So the answer is 10.5. Now can you calculate this one? Press pause and try this one. What do you what do you think you need to do first on that? Parentheses again? Yep. So let's do that to one side. Uh, three point two minus one point five. Uh, two minus five is not going to happen. Cross that off. Carry one over. Twelve minus five is seven. Decimal point goes down here. Two minus one is one. So this becomes 1.7. So I have 7.8 minus 1.7, right? So just calculate that and then I've got it, right? 7.8 minus 1.7. 8 minus 7 is 1. 7 minus 1 is 6. So 6.1. But the trick is, the trick on these was to make sure you do what's in the parentheses first and then do the rest, right? because of the order of operations PEMDAS, right? Okay, can you do this one? Subtract 4 from the sum of 9.3 and that, 0 0.182. By all means, press pause and see if you can do it. There's no point just watching me. You've got to gotta try and try and do it. Imagine this is, this is your homework and just try and do it and, you know, tr make that mistake so that you can then catch your mistake and watch me doing it and, and you know, make make sure you you you're, you catch your mistakes right now when you have a chance to learn this. Okay, subtract four from the sum of this and this, right? So the sum, what does sum mean? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Sum means add. It says subtract four from the sum of this. Well, to my mind, that means we've got to first get this sum and then subtract four. Now, the easiest way to be to do it, we just go nine point three plus 0 0.182 get the sum and then subtract 4 afterwards right um, just for fun I'm going to write out what this would look like you would get the sum of 9.3 plus 0 0.182 just because in later math classes you'll have to do this this is the sum and you'll put that in parentheses because you want to do that first okay then you're going to subtract 4 from that sum and so you need to write it out like that so that's just for fun. For fun. It, but the bottom line is we we have to add these together first anyway, no matter what. And I think it's kind of nice to stick zeros where we don't where we have kind of empty spaces, right? For the hundreds and the thousands here. So zero and two is two. Zero and eight is eight. Three and one is four. Nine and zero is nine. So that's the sum of nine point three and uh, point one eight two, and then we have to subtract four from that. How are we going to do that? Subtract 4, right? Or just for fun, 4.000. How about that? Okay. 2 minus 0 is 2. 8 minus 0 is 8. 4 minus 0 is 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. So 5.482, right? Now, can you do this one? What number is added to 0 0.045 to obtain 3.086? Hmm. Let me ask you this. Um, what number is added to three to obtain ten? What number is added to three to obtain ten? Different question. How would you figure this one out? What number is added to three to obtain ten? And how did you get that? 
You said 7, right? 7 is added to 3, can be added to 3 to get 10. How can you calculate 7 if you're given these two numbers? To calculate 7 given these two numbers, you would do this. Wouldn't you subtract? What would you subtract? Wouldn't you go 10, subtract 3? The answer is 7, right? So if, I, if, if the question was, what number is added to the 3 to obtain 10, I just go 10 minus 3. But if I'm asked what number is added to this to obtain this, then I just go three point this number minus that number, right? Does that make sense? So subtract that and then you got the answer. Just like the ten and three, right? So six minus five is one, eight minus four four is four, zero minus zero is zero, three minus zero is three, and that's the answer there, right?